Most fighting games can get away with pulling some pretty weird stuff. Karate masters who throw fireballs at each other, ice ninjas who rip out spines, this dude? In the world of mortal combatants and street-fighting world warriors, anything goes. Punch-Out, on the other hand, is at least nominally rooted in the real-life sport of boxing, with simple controls and a harsh difficulty curve that makes it a classic of the NES era. Instead of taking place in the shadowy arenas of Outworld or a sinister clone factory, Little Max bouts take place entirely in the ring, with rules like technical knockouts and contender rankings. There's even a referee in the form of Mario, who pops up to make the 10 count whenever a fighter is knocked down. Unfortunately for Little Mac, neither referee Mario nor the World Video Boxing Association are interested in enforcing a pretty important rule — weight classes. If you've ever watched an actual boxing match, you may notice that you rarely see a big size difference between opponents. There is a reason for that. Boxing matches are meant to be tests of skill rather than muscle mass, and pitting someone who weighs, say, 107 pounds against a gigantic heavyweight would likely result in the smaller boxer being literally murdered in the ring. If he dies, he dies. For Punch-Out, though, nobody at Nintendo got the memo. The hero of the game, Little Mac, weighs in at a canonical 107 pounds. In real-life terms, that means that he would be designated by the International Boxing Federation as a junior flyweight. And yet, he routinely faces off against opponents like Mr. Sandman, who clocks in at a staggering 284 pounds. That's a difference of 177 pounds. That is an entire Conor McGregor. This isn't an unusual occurrence, either. Of the 11 opponents that Little Mac has to defeat on his road to becoming champion, there's only one that's even remotely in his weight class — Glass Joe, the fragile fighter that you take on in your very first bout. His weak offense has become legendary, but if you really think about it, there's a pretty good reason why he'll go down with a single uppercut. With 99 losses to the likes of Piston Honda and Bald Bull, it's pretty surprising that his entire skull hasn't disintegrated. If that wasn't bad enough, one of Mac's earliest opponents is King Hippo, who not only has a listed weight of three question marks, but is also a literal monster. At least he's pretending to be human, though. By the time Little Mac fought his way onto the Wii version of Punch-Out, he had to have a boxing match against Donkey Kong, an actual gorilla. They didn't even make him take off his necktie. It might be nearly impossible to beat Mike Tyson at the end of the original game, but just making it through opponents that are 15 weight classes ahead of him, teleporting punch wizards, and some kind of ogre king make Mac the undisputed greatest of all time. Thanks for watching! Click the SVG icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel! Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love, too!